Hey, I'm Jay from Livid, and today I'm going to do a quick start guide on our brain, which is our central unit in our builder series of parts for do-it-yourself control building. Um, the brain is the central device, which acts as the input and the output uh, for all your connections to be connected to your computer. Uh, it's the MIDI interface for connecting uh, faders, buttons, knobs, LEDs, um, analog or any analog or digital component um, to the board to create your own control surface. Um, this is the must-have device in the Builder series. Um, you don't need anything else but this uh, to really get started. Um, but we also have these modular um, perforated circuit boards uh, designed to uh, allow you to use um, uh, faders, uh, rotary potentiometers, button pads, LEDs, um, and components to create your own controllers. Um, there's four boards in the builder series of uh, uh, do-it-yourself uh, BYOB boards. Um, we have the push board, which is actually comes in two different sizes. This is the push small, which works with our small uh, rubber keypads. Um, it also has a space for a through hole or a surface mount LED. Um, these come in a 4x4, and these come in a 4x4, but you can add on to create pretty much any setup you'd like. Um, the nice thing about these circuit boards, too, is they're, uh, they're perforated and modular. So it's really simple to uh, break them up and create your own size. So here I have a 3x2 uh, a configuration. And if I wanted to make a 2x2 two two configuration, it's really easy. You just take the circuit board and you break it apart. And here we go. Now I have a 2x2 two two, um, and I have a 1x2. So... Um, it's really cool uh, because you can create any kind of setup uh, just by pulling the boards apart and there's a mounting hole on each board so even if you just wanted to use one button you can do that. Um, and the rubber keypads also can be uh, cut with the scissors to create your own size. Um, we also have a medium size rubber keypad which works with our 1x4 buttons so you can line these up and create a larger grid um, just by using this board. There is the slide board, uh, which is can be used with pretty much any 60 millimeter uh, uh, slide potentiometer, either dual or uh, single row. Um, so here's one that you can just buy from Mauser. We also sell our own custom made uh, faders. They're professionally made faders that we had custom designed for our controllers. We also sell them on our site. Uh, but this is just a Florence potentiometer from Mauser, um, and you see it just sticks right in there and you can solder it right here on the back. Um, and then we have our turn board, which is designed to be used with rotary potentiometers. And this board works with pretty much any nine millimeter snap-in potentiometer. Um, it just snaps right in here and then you solder the connections in the back and there you have your uh, grid of knobs. Um, again, all these boards can be uh, broken apart to any configuration or added onto so you can have uh, multiple boards with a lot of controls. Um, our breakout board is the hub for all of this stuff to connect to the brain. Um, you always want to use a ribbon cable when you're connecting. Um, and the nice thing about uh, this breakout board is you can take um, either any of these uh, BYOB boards or just any component uh, and use screw uh, terminals that you can solder onto here and just wire it into here and then use the pin headers to connect these ribbon cables directly to the board so you don't uh, ruin the board or uh, ruin uh, your components. So the idea for this quick start guide really is just to show you how to take one button, one rotary potentiometer, and one LED and uh, connect it to the brain and configure it. Uh, even if you have no experience in electronics, um, the, the whole idea why this Builder, Bra Builder series was created uh, was for people that have uh, no experience at all with electronics to be able to create their own controllers, or people that do have a lot of experience. Um, there's also a lot you can do. There's a lot of advanced stuff you can do with this brain. 